Good morning, scrappy friends. Um, today I am creating some embellishment clusters and then a card and a layout. Um, I did miss at the beginning of this showing you what I did. I cut a one inch circle and then layered the leaves up and stuck them to the back of the one inch circle. I then stuck that circle onto the mesh die cut on the first one and cut another one inch circle and stuck it over the back. I've then poured the wax on top of the circle and then done the mandala stamp into that. With the second one, I put the leaves directly on top of the mesh, poured the wax on top of the, the leaves and then stamped the mandala directly onto that. So you've got a more organic shape where it comes in and out of the mesh. Let me know which you prefer, the first one or the second one. So we're using the second one where it's more of an organic shape um, and, and end up pushing through the mesh. I'm using that one to make a card. Uh, both the mesh dies and the leaf dies, it's the leaves and vines dies, are from Hey Little Magpie. And then the mandala is, is one of their um, one of their wax stamp, seal stamp as well. Um, I've used some 3D foam there to lift up the embellishment cluster from the page and you also saw me at the beginning stamping of the card section anyway stamping that happy day sentiment and I've just popped that up on some foam as well um, these are little beads that I've made from leftover wax that was in the spoon now in the spoon I had three shades of wax of green wax from the head in the clouds wax bead collection uh, so it's given marbled effect to the mandala stamp and also to these little beads that are then made with the leftover back bits of wax. And it's just a case of dripping a bit out the spoon and then straightening the spoon back up again. So you just end up with these little beads. I'm trying to get the bit off the, the quick cut, quick pick up pen off the top of that bead there and I end up giving up. <laughs> um, so we're now moving on to the scrapbook layout. I have cut the papers that I want to use ahead of time and you can see there to the left um, towards the top of the photo is the embellishment cluster that I made using the two one inch circles so as I said it's a one inch circle with the leaves and vines leaves and vines stuck to the back of the circle I've then glued that onto the mesh and then put another circle over the back it then gives me a flat surface to pour the wax directly onto and stamp I did put a little bit too much wax on but I do like the effect um, I'm now what I did was pencil marks around the uh, photo and the paper and uh, the little bit of emulsion I've already put on there just to give me an idea of where the mixed media needs to go. So I've used mowed lawn, uh, rustic wilderness and bundled sage. Um, so I'm just going on with the first colour here and a dry between each layer so that the ink layers on rather than mixes together. It does get reactivated a little bit with the next colour because you are adding more water to it, but it does give more of a, a layered look because you have dried in between layers. Now I also showed you as well, I was going to use that same stamp set to add some stamp into this background. Um, I see if you can spot <laughs> spot the mistake uh, when I come to, to put everything together. Um, so just yeah, drying off the second colour there and then going in with the, the third colour. Uh, I think this is the Rustic Wilderness, looking at how dark it is. The second one was Bundle Sage. I started with the mode lawn uh, using some of the ink there that's on my brush from mixing in the water. So it's just two spritz of my water mixing the ink. Um, just using the bit that's left on the brush from mixing it to then tap some splatters on the background. Uh, I had actually intended to go in over with gold splatters as well and I haven't. So I may need to add them. Uh, so yeah. Now I'm adding the papers back on. I have used fern wood for both the card and this layout. 
I'm going through some older collections. Vicky's latest collection is out and available in Hey Little Magpie. So I'm trying to use up some older collections, uh, letting my wax seals be the start of these layouts um, and, and projects. I do need to make some room before I actually add a new collection to the stash. So yeah, going through my older older collections to use some up and that's going to be my focus through October through November gosh November when this is going out my focus through November is to use some older stash I'm going to a retreat actually about a week after this is show, going to be shown and uh, my intention is that everything all the kits I make up and take with me are all from older stash as well um, so yeah just then sticking everything down have you noticed what i forgot to do yet yeah forgot to add the stamp in <laughs> it's about now that i realized i was going to stamp on this background and um yeah just <laughs> do here we go i'm figuring out how i am going to get that on so i am lifting the size of the paper up a little bit and getting the stamp in underneath the paper um yeah i do this all the time but like this time it was actually i'd intended to stamp it wasn't like i i thought you know what i'm going to stamp after i stuck everything down which is you know it's something i do um this i'd intended right from the beginning to stamp and just completely forgot um i am putting the stamp towards the corner of the block which kind of helps with the going underneath the paper and use the the dots and starbursts and the coffee ring stamps from that stamp set i can't remember what collection the stamp set's from it's not fernwood because i didn't actually get stamps from fernwood um so yeah just sticking down my journaling block i will journal off camera afterwards but just to say that the picture is from um the trip to cornwall and these are photos of myself with Mr Ding and my sister and brother-in-law at Bogies in West Pentire, kind of through, you go near Crantock, it overlooks Crantock Beach, it's just so beautiful. Um, so we had some coffee and snacks um, whilst we were there. I don't know if you can hear a squeaky chair using my headset. I'm actually using my work headset to record and it's not picking up the buzz like the mic was doing. So I hope this is sounding a bit better. Um, adding some of the leftover leaves from making the embellishment cluster here so that embellishment cluster that i made at the beginning of the video with the wax seal and um, you're just using some of the leaves that i had left over from from that from making that and now i'm going to go through the embellishments and just yeah add some bits to, to finish it off i'm using the 3d layered stickers there I love these. Um, it's also given me a few ideas for doing some more layered embellishment clusters as well. Uh, going through these stickers, and because I put the stamps, the circular stamps on the background, I wanted to use these circular stickers from the sticker collection. Um, there's not much left of this video, of this process now, so I'm just going to say now before I forget, uh, please pop a like if you've enjoyed this video and um, be lovely to have a quick comment and say hi and also if you're not already subscribed to the channel please take time to subscribe uh, this is going on the hey little magpie channel as it's part of my creative team um, layouts and, and um, work with the wax seals so check out the other videos from the other creators as well creative team members um yeah just adding some more embellishments around uh, i did cut in half that label that i put at the top just so it'll tuck under the picture better and i've got the other half for another time and cutting in half that photo so i can tuck it underneath that layered sticker the layered um yeah I layered sticker with the flowers and the moth on i just wanted to fill that corner in there now looking for a title and there's this beautiful day on the chipboard and the thing was so i've been getting some prints printed at max spielman rather than 
um, printing them myself and I found them very forgiving when you put something sticky on so I wasn't worried about putting down the beautiful day and maybe having to move it if I've not lined it up right um, but I just love that sticker it fills in that gap as well from the mixed media along the top I was thinking I was going to have to put some more mixed media in but I really think it fills the gap um, so there we are. Uh, I did some close-ups then, then remembered I hadn't put the beads on that I made. So these are some more of those beads that I made using the leftover wax where I've just dripped it out. And I'm just putting them in segments where I haven't got the seal. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>